Today, we're back with Icarus, and we're going to be upgrading our base here. And when I say upgrading, I actually mean building a base. We've got this little two-room shack or two-space shack here. And that was enough to sleep through our first night. But we need to get something a little bit more spacious where we can set up some machines and stuff. I've gone ahead and uh, built a few upgrades. We killed a couple of creatures outside the base here when we were taking some screenshots. And I've got a rain reservoir that we're going to be using here to uh, collect some water. I've got an oxide dissolver, which is our upgraded uh, oxygen uh, uh, machine. And that's going to let us use an oxygen bladder. So I'm going to go ahead and put the oxygen bladder in my slots just to free up some inventory room. So now we're going to have some containers to bring more oxygen and water with us. And then I went ahead and built a longbow, which is an upgraded bow here. We do have that unlocked. It's a tier two weapon technically, as is the uh, Oxite Dissolver and Rain res Reservoir and the uh, skins to go along with that. So we are busting into tier two pretty quickly here. This is gonna give us some more damage when we're out hunting. And uh, this is just gonna give us some more survivability. We can kind of go out and start exploring. And since we are on the island here, that's gonna be pretty critical. Uh, I want to go ahead and get this rain reservoir set up first thing, just in case it does start to storm or rain at some point. This is going to be able to collect water for us. And we've been running the campfire here, cooking up some various meats as we kill creatures. We've got quite the collection going, so we're able to keep ourselves well fed and the food bonuses here are helping us out. This is giving us more maximum stamina and less water consumption, more health and health regen, which is always good, and a lot more stamina and health as well as health regen and experience gain. No complaints on my part. So with that, we also built a uh, ladder here. I was finding that uh, a lot of creatures were coming our way at different times here. And this is handy to kind of get up here, take a look around, and maybe even spot a creature we want to go kill, like that wolf that I see jumping down there on the shoreline. We could definitely use a little bit more experience. And at this stage in the game, leather and uh, fur are two of our most needed resources. So let's see how this new bow works out. Nice. Two shots and not too shabby. We'll go ahead and get this fur and leather real quick before anything more dangerous jumps along. And as always, these bones are proving to be very useful since we're using a lot of bone arrows and the bone knife for skinning. And uh, there you go, there's that storm we were talking about that's going to be coming in soon. I have been collecting a little bit of wood every time I leave the base as well, so we've got uh, a bit of wood at the base. I'm going to, I think, actually break one of these uh, stone boulders down. We're going to get some stone. We don't have a lot of stone right now. And I think we could use a little bit to flesh out parts of the base. We're not quite to being able to build stone walls yet because we're gonna need to go find some metals. And so maybe that's uh, the adventure we'll go out for today, is to go find some uh, metal at some point here. I'm gonna just uh, take a little bit more of this boulder before the heavy part of the storm catches up with us. We're gonna have our weight capacity met here anytime. We probably won't actually finish harvesting this entire boulder. That's all right, we are going to have more than enough stone to do what we need to do for a little while. In fact, I don't think we're even going to have anywhere to put all this stone that we're picking up. So we might just need to start expanding the base right out and get enough room to build some more chests to store some of this in. I guess I could create some piles of stone uh, outside the house here, but we'll, uh, we'll see. In fact, I'm going to do that now just to see if it reduces the weight any. I wouldn't expect it to really reduce the weight just combining them. No, in fact, it uh, created a much heavier pile. So I'm going to set that much heavier pile down there just to uh, allow us to continue going here on this boulder. I hate leaving half boulders just laying around here. There we go. We have uh, finished off that boulder. I think my uh, talent finally kicked back in. 
and we are extremely over encumbered so I'm going to uh, put two more stacks of stone down right here next to this and that will give us a little bit of a backlog in case we uh, do get some metal unlocked we'll be able to start in on our stone walls pretty quickly without having to do a whole lot more in the way of uh, mining mining stone especially not terribly uh, rewarding and uh, oh my gosh we are still encumbered so let's go ahead and make two more of these We'll toss these right down uh, next to this. Get a nice little pile going, like so. And like so. There we go. No longer encumbered. We're going to run right back up here. Now, I did, if I remember correctly, built some uh, wood building materials when we were uh, carrying all that lumber back just to, uh, when you build a wood wall, it actually weighs less than the wood logs in your inventory. And uh, that was the goal to get back here, was just to get as much wood as we could back, and I knew we weren't going to quite get to stone as quickly as I wanted. We can always upgrade the walls after we build them, so it's not like we're going to have to tear our base down uh, to start doing the stone later on. And so what I think I want to do is take the wood flooring here. I'm trying to find the right way to build this. These go that way, if I'm not mistaken. So if I can stand here in the same spot, that uh, fire is mighty close. And we're just going to bring this out... I build three that turns us into a four long I think if we go for a four by four that's gonna be a good size so I'm just gonna start us off there and then we will figure out how to get our wood beams in the corners at least give this uh, some support I don't remember exactly how far you can build in uh, the base building mode here before things start falling apart but I do know they will start falling apart at some point I'm going to let this finish we got there we go the last one there and I don't need to let it build any more charcoal so I'm going to take everything out of that and then we're going to go ahead and pick up this campfire because we don't need a campfire sitting right there anymore what I do need is some more wood flooring. And in order to get more wood flooring, we've got to get a little bit of fiber real quick. So I'm just going to come out here and cannibalize some bushes. And we'll make, how many do I need? One, two, three, four, and then a whole bunch for the ceiling, actually. So we're just going to make the max, which is apparently only three. What do I? What am I missing here? Oh, wood. We've got plenty of wood. Let's go ahead and grab some of that. And we'll try this again. Nine. That should be closer to sufficient. Not enough, but enough to get started, if you know what I mean. All right. So I'm going to put these floors here now as a two by two. I'm going to put a beam right here in the center. We're never going to be able to get to this one again. And it would have been nice to maybe have that be of a stronger material. But I think this is going to work out good enough to start. And I'm going to try and get this uh, stone to go away, get out from underneath our floor. In hindsight, I really sh probably should have mined this out before I built the floor. I just didn't think the floor was going to fall below the stone. Oh my goodness, and we've made an error. This uh, one wood floor is facing the wrong way, so I don't know if there's a better way to break this down than the axe, but we're just going to axe this floor out real quick. There's got to be a better way to do this. Let me try this. Um, nope, I just see repair. I don't see a destroy option. All right, there we go. That is good and destroyed. And now all of our floor goes the same way, making me much happier. So I think, given that we've got our rain uh, catcher over here, I'm going to put a side door right here. 
This seems like a nice easy place to go in and out since uh, the other sides of this have ended up off the ground a little bit. And I think we also want to put in some windows. So I'm gonna put a window in here. And uh, no, ooh, we have a Y for deconstruct. Uh, somehow, I didn't see that before. Well, now we know that's gonna make life a lot easier moving forward. Uh, I'm gonna put a solid wall here. And then what I like to do, I'm just remembering is put windows in on the corners so that I can stand in the corner and kind of look around. And then we will run with solid walls here. Windows on the corners, solid walls here. Windows on the corners, solid wall. And then uh, I'll get windows on the corner over here as well, I think, maybe. We'll just deconstruct these. And finish off with windows on the corners. I'm gonna leave this door up for now until we figure out how to get the rest of the base completely secured and locked in. Uh, I've got the door, which is good. I just don't think we're quite going to have enough of the ceilings here to get ourselves locked in. So we will have to get some more materials to build that out. And I also need to figure out where we're gonna be putting um, our stove and such. So if we come over here to the crafting bench, we have the ability to build this fireplace, which requires 120 stone. Uh, but this is gonna provide light and be safe for the interior with the chimney cap. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go down and real quick grab one of these stacks of stone. And that jaguar is coming for me. Oh, we got him, but we're gonna die. Oh, so close. If I had the band-aid ready, I might have made that, but we forgot to replace our band-aid last time we used it up, so... Oopsies. Well, we're going to respawn. Hopefully our bed is intact. And we're once again bottomed out at the bottom of level 33. We seem to be uh, stuck here for the time being. Uh, part of that, obviously, that we're in a harder zone than I think we probably should have been in. Uh, lots of really hard creatures right here in this area. And uh, they jump out and nab you at uh, the most inconvenient of times. That's all right. Oh, oh, we've got to get in the building. Something's coming for me. I think it's a crocodile. Yep. Well, hopefully he goes away and doesn't start trying to eat our base because that would be really inconvenient right now. He definitely knows we're in here. But it looks like he's going to go away and leave us be for the time being. So, oh, no, I got too close and upset him. All right, I'm gonna queue those both up and then... Oh, my knife broke. Run away. I'm gonna try and get up on top of this tall rock and fix my knife real quick. Okay, I need a suture kit, I think. Yeah, we're gonna need a suture kit. Whoa! I didn't think he could climb that rock. I was gonna grab some food, but uh, now we're running for our life again. All right, we've got some bonuses at least. We should start healing over time. I'd really like if the uh, crocodiles would leave us be. Oh, there's another one there. We're apparently in a very bad spot at the moment. I just want to build my base, get a little bit uh, better equipment and then we'll deal with all these guys. We're all running low on just about everything at the moment. And we now have a hole in the wall, so I'm trying to figure out how to repair the hole in our wall. There we go. Okay, this isn't shelter. Ooh, we've got a lightning storm incoming. That sounds particularly scary. Get this stuff back in our equipment. I like how my equipment gets put back where it needs to go. I wish the uh, skins would also drop it back into their appropriate slots when you uh, die. 
You know, there's a item that's coming to mind all of a sudden called a fire whacker. And with the lightning outside, I think we should probably look into building said fire whacker because we don't want to be scrambling to figure out what we need to build this after our house is already on fire. Do not like that that crocodile just found us either. Yeah, stuff is on fire. I don't want my base to be on fire. Crocodiles attacking our base. Two crocodiles by our base. We're gonna try and kite them away from the base a little bit here. These crocodiles are something else. And now there's a wolf over here as well. Oh my goodness. We're just waiting to turn around and see uh, our base on fire. It's kind of hard to put the flames out on the base if we're not by the base. And I have no idea where that wolf went. He's probably going to jump out from behind this rock. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can nab him real quick. Oh, we got it. I am enjoying the upgraded bow and the bone arrows. That seems to be a lot better off. I'm going to grab this. We may come back for the bones at a later point, but we need to get back in this base before something else comes to get us. Oh my gosh, everything's on fire. And we're in a giant wood, uh, wood base here. Oh my gosh, that hit us. All right, whack the fire, whack the fire. Come on, come on, okay. Okay, we're on fire. Oh, I didn't notice that we were on fire. So with uh, that excitement out of the way, let's see if we can uh, pick a good spot for our chimney here. I actually think I want it on the back wall like so. And then I'm going to be able to a chimney on top of it like that we'll craft another ceiling here real quick just to make sure i can uh do that yep that way we will uh be able to light this on fire have light during the evening hours i'm gonna store my charcoal in the chimney we're gonna put the raw meat in there i'm gonna eat this one before it spoils We've got so much meat, we're just cooking it to cook it. I'm going to grab a little bit more wood here. We're going to put a stack of wood in the fireplace to hopefully keep it going when we need it. And I'm just noticing our doorway is taking a fair amount of damage. Our floors are all banged up as well. Let's go ahead and repair the fire damage. So I just need a whole bunch more ceiling pieces to lock this in as a shelter. So I'm going to grab uh, a bunch of wood. We've got wood all over the place here. And what do we need? Uh, two, four, five, six more pieces. And we'll get this all put up right quick here. Perfect. Well, now we've got a, a nice little shack. I am going to leave this as the, like, reserve bedroom, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. We're not going to need it anymore, so I want to clean up some of our areas a little bit at least. And I'm going to stick that back in there. We're going to get rid of the spoiled food. And the next thing I want to do is start putting our machines out. I'm going to put... Oh, I wanted this to be not a um, window but a wall so I could put stuff in front of it well the easiest way to do that if I remember right is we're going to build one more wall and then over here I can now push the Y and place the wall next to the door we're going to have our oxygen I'm going to go ahead and put the oxide in there. And then in our inventory, we're going to drop the bladder. And this is one of the things that requires sulfur to operate. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of sulfur, toss that in there. And we're off to the races. We're making oxygen and filling up the bladder. 
fun times. And we might as well get a suture kit here real quick so that we can fix all of our brokenness. And we should probably queue up a Band-Aid as well. Never hurts to have one on hand. All right, we have been sutured. We're going to get some meat and berries going alongside our prime meat. We're all buffed up. And let's go ahead and dump the non-essentials back in here. Uh, this wood bow, I'm just hanging on to that in case we get into a spot where we die and we need to uh, have something to start back off with. And we're going to store our old buildings in here. We won't need the campfire now that we have a fireplace. We'll store the door in here as well. Uh, I'm going to hang on to the fire whacker and such. Let's put the wall in here. And that's it. I think we're good. I don't need to carry all this food on me. So I'm going to toss it in here. Hopefully some of that's still around when we need it. But uh, obviously meat isn't a big problem for us. And we're going to go ahead and sleep. Oh, we need an active campfire. I'm almost positive this is going to count. So let's fire up the fireplace and boom. We have rested till morning. Last but not least, we're going to grab our better pickaxe here. We're going to be bringing that with us and hopefully finding a little bit of metal. That's our next adventure. Now we're going to run over to this nearest open cave that we found and see what's inside. Now if I remember correctly, the cave in question is somewhere right along this wall. We found it earlier when we were exploring around and I was too afraid to run in and check it out. And of course we've got a flash storm coming with a lot of lightning. The prudent thing to do would be to head back to our base and make sure it doesn't burn down. However, I think we're gonna brave it and risk it and try and just head into the cave to protect ourselves and get out of the uh, storm. And hopefully we'll get lucky and our base won't burn to the ground while we're doing this. I believe that entrance is yep, right up here. Now it's gonna get a mite dark with the storm. It's a cave. to see them in the dark. There, I killed that one as well. I don't know how many are going to be in here. At least I'm getting my arrows back. I'm just going to risk it to grab this. And then we're going to get our better pickaxe out here. So we're not wasting materials. I wish there was a way to see. Can I hold my torch and a pickaxe? I don't think so. Can I drop the torch while it's burning? Oh, I can. Well, that's handy. Well, there's some iron. Looks like we've got copper in here as well. So I'm going to grab at least all of this iron right here. Keep an ear out to hear if any more of those worms pop up. The storm does not sound friendly out there. The good news is getting this iron means pretty quickly we'll be able to start making the, I believe it's iron nails. 
that's necessary for constructing stone walls. I would like to get at least a rudimentary uh, like keep or something going that we can rely on not getting uh, broke down by every storm that passes by. All right, that copper node is done. We've got another iron right here. I don't know how far back this cave goes. I don't know if there's more creatures further back in the cave either. So many unknowns and we've died so often I'd really hate to die again at this point. So we're gonna take it slow. Wow, this cave is quite large. There's at least two more, three more, four more pockets of iron here though. And so we're gonna try and get as much of this iron as we can. I really don't want to find out how much damage those worms are gonna do if they manage to hit me though, so. I'm super nervous, super cautious. But we've gotten enough iron to get our first uh, achievement there, Iron Master. And, uh, oh boy, is iron heavy. We are at weight already. That's not a node, so we're going to get this one last node. And then I'm going to take a look at my inventory and see if there's something we want to get rid of. Oh, we've been in the cave too long. We've got some kind of a... Uh, moldy lung debuff on us. That's uh, unfortunate. Poison sacks, huh? Well, let's grab some of this. Um, I really don't have the weight capacity for more copper at the moment. I'm gonna leave the copper. We're gonna hobble ourselves out of here. Is that more copper? Well, that's platinum ore. Oh, well, that's cool. We'll come back for that. I think platinum's even further down the tree, and uh, I'm pretty sure our advanced pickaxe here could handle the platinum, but we don't have the stamina for it. I have encountered uh, bears and jaguars right in this area there. In fact, is a jaguar. And there's another jaguar. Um. Oh, we're dead. We might as well try and take one of them out. That was unfortunate. Here I am trying to be self-aware and sneaky, and we got wrecked. All right, I've snagged my body, and we're swimming back to sh the island here. Uh, we're encumbered, so this is painfully slow. That's all right. We're going to make it, and we've got a ton of iron in our inventory, which I'm excited about. Iron is the gateway to pretty much all of the more advanced mechanics in the game. We're going to be able to not only get stone walls, but much better tools, weapons, etc. going here in the not too distant future. And it's really going to speed up our progress in the game. As exciting as the first uh, little bit of survival is, it can be a little bit rough. Uh, as you've seen, I've died quite a bit at Although some of that is just due to my playstyle, lack of patience. I'm always uh, trying to just go, go, go rather than being slow and cautious, which is, you know, kind of up to how you want to play the game. Uh, I think this game does reward the player who wants to be slow and cautious and take their time with things. Uh, you could definitely sneak around and avoid a lot of the dangers. However, uh, I don't have the patience for that. I'd rather jump right in and take some risks. If we die, well, we can always uh, we can always get that experience back later, I suppose. Hopefully. We've been sitting at the bottom of 33 here for quite some time now, though. So we'll see how that goes uh, when the time comes. I'm trying to find my house. Did I lose my house? It's probably up on the hill here somewhere. There it is. We're way on the other side of the island than I thought we were. It looks like there's a lot of light coming through my windows. Hopefully it's not on fire from that little storm. Uh, I probably just left the fireplace running. That's all right. We should probably turn that off when we leave home, though. No reason to have it burning up all of our wood when I'm not around. Next time, I think we will avoid... Uh, carrying back so much stuff that we're overburdened from a stamina perspective. It just takes too long to run back to the base. 
it had been faster to not take that last iron node and just uh, get back to the base real quick. So I've got all this metal. We need to make a stone furnace, I believe, in order to process it. So what I'm going to do is dump the stone in here. Uh, we'll just dump a few things in here right now to hold it, get it out of my inventory. It's all way too heavy. And that's gonna free me up to go get one of these pallets of stone so that I can bring that back up to the base and hopefully build this stone furnace. Stone furnace one building. Okie dokie, into the bar we go. And I'm trying to think where we want this to go. Uh, maybe we'll put it on the far wall over here so when we come back in from our adventures, I can see it. At some point, we'll probably end up with a couple of these is my guess. And I'm just going to stock this full of iron. And we're going to need a whatchamajigger of a wood to keep that going as well. At some point here, we're going to need to go grab some more wood. We're starting to burn through the reserves. That's an awful lot of iron. It looks like that's going to run for one per bar, two per bar. Okay. Well, that's all right. I'm not in a hurry. We're going to dump the copper in here as well. It'll continue to run while we continue to have our adventures. Well, I'm going to turn off the fireplace. We're going to let that run for a bit here. We've got our oxygen all set up at some point. It'll rain and we'll get some water here, hopefully before we die. We've made progress on building a lot of components for our base here. And now we're just waiting on the metal to work its way through so that we can start doing some more advanced stuff. We may end up building some more of these workstations next time. And obviously heading back out to that cave to finish collecting the resources that are available. However, I think this is going to be a great place to wrap up today's episode. We've made tons and tons of progress today. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, hit that like button, helps me out a lot. And we'll see you next time for more adventures in Icarus. That's all for today. Ketterk.